students welcome back coming to the next topic in the subject distributed system is a security in distributed system so whatever the environment you are taking either it is a centralized or distributed if you are working in the uh, if your systems are connected in the network the one thing that we have to provide to the systems is the security whatever the data that we are sending over the cloud in the cloud means you need to maintain a security so now let's see how the security will be uh, what type of security is that we used in the distributed systems so let's take this is the computer one and the computer t these two computers are communicating some message that message will be under encryption okay encryption means it's we are converted that message into some codes it's a mathematical codes okay so if the attacker is attacking he can't reach the to the computer one or the computer two so he can only able to read the encryption message only encryption message can read by the attacker so the attacker can't understand what language is it because it is encrypted if i send any hi message or if i send welcome message this message will be encrypted with some codes okay some codes so that attacker cannot be understand so this is how you can maintain the security in the distributed system so these are uh, distributed environment a distributed system security goal so first of all what are the goals of this uh, uh, distributed system to maintain security first thing is what was the definition of the distributed system so why does uh, first thing we are considering as we want to know the definition of a distributed system so in the so, uh, uh, only the person if you want to maintain the security to the systems if you want to maintain the security to the messages first thing is we you need to know how the environment is how the systems are arranged so these are all the different systems that are arranged in the distributed world okay so first thing is what was the definition of the distributed system means in the view of to maintain security to those systems uh, to those messages we need to know the structure of that so that's thing they are saying first thing is what was the definition of distributed system next goal is what was the definition of protocol a protocol means set of rules so how the messages are communicating which systems are in network which systems are participating in the transactions which are not participating in the transactions that definition of protocols has to be no if you want to maintain the security to your messages or to the systems okay and next next goal is what will happen if protocol is known by the third party we have to think also suppose our important message is ha hacked or attacked by the attacker what happened how much loss that you can whether you are sending a normal message or you are sending the high five high risk messages so the security levels will be also like that so what happens if the protocol is known to the third party is it leads to high say high problem or the less problem based on that the encryption algorithms will be set to that messages okay so the encryptions can be arranged based on the type of message that you are going to be sent and the fourth goal of this uh, distributed system security is the how to protect the distributed system again suppose there is an attack that protocol is known by the third party then how we are going to protect that distributed system so these are all the different goals of the distributed system so that we have to be sort out if you want to implement the distributed system security if you want to maintain a security in the distributed system you need to first find sort out those problems so what are the security threats that came across in the distributed systems it may be a dependability confidentiality integrity interception interruption modification fabrication so what it means dependability security threat means the system trust to deliver its service so whatever the person i am the person i am going to send the message to some person okay i simply sending the message i'm just making a phone call and i just say simply say hi hello how are you like that so because i trust to deliver its services i i believe in the network there should not be any attackers to attack that message so that is a dependability i completely dependent on the network and i believe on the network whatever the network i'm using to send the message i believe on the network that is the first threat dependability security threat and next is the confidentiality confidentiality means information is disclosed to authorized parties 
and next threat is integrity so integrity threat means here the alterations can be made only in the authorized manner okay that you can't able to identify interception threat security threat that is access by unauthorized users if unauthorized user going to access your message that is interception security threat interruption security threat means service or data becomes unavailable interruption when it interruption will occurs whenever the wanted data is not available okay wanted service is unavailable then interruption threat will be occur modification unauthorized tampering of data or service is a modification fabrication means additional data or information is fabricated okay so these are all the different uh, security threats in distributed system thank you